we begin with the presentation, I would like to introduce our crew in the production team. I am uh, Nadira as a director, Shukriya uh, as a co-director, uh, Shamimi as a floor manager, uh, Amira as a PA system in charge, and we have three cameramen here, which are Fatin, uh, Husna, and uh, Sini, uh, and Aida as a timekeeper, and the last one is Mega as an announcer. If there is no problem, I think we can start now. So let's be action. <laughs> Greetings, everybody. We are now down to the final two groups, and this group is very special because they are going to share with us about the strap tag protein suppression technique. What are they going to talk about? The purification, the advantage, the detections and so on. So let's hear about that. Give them a round of applause. So uh, generally, Strata is one, one of the most widely used affinity chromatography for protein profession, detection and immobilization. And Strata also uh, is a powerful tool for purification of highly recombinant protein because it has the strongest non-covalent non -covalent interaction um, inoculation between the heating uh, and uh, biotech. Okay, as I mentioned before, uh, Strata is uh, one of the affinity chromatography technique and the basic principle of chromatography technique is uh, separation, uh, separation uh, proteins based on the irreversible interaction between the protein and uh, the specific ligand. In the case of the Strata, Separation protein are uh, based on the highly selective and easily controllable uh, interaction between the strep type 2 uh, short peptide and uh, with the strep to begin and or strep type 3. And strep type uh, is also uh, is suitable for the target protein such as metalloprotein, membrane protein, low abundant protein, sensitive protein complex with multiple uh, subunits, and the last one is biotic bio protein. Biotin is uh, can interact with the protein, but 
in the strong reaction, so it's difficult to purify the protein. So uh, the, we engineer the strep tapetin to the strep tapetin in order to optimize with the strep tapetin. And the new technology, which is uh, strep tapetin XD, uh, which can bind to the twin strep tapetin. Okay, this is the uh, third generation, which is the strep taxin XT super flow. Uh, this is a very high selective compared to the other affinity and can produce high yield because of the superior performance in the field. And it can produce high yield of protein because uh, compared to other strep taxin because it can bind to the uh, ligand and we know need to uh, remove the strep tag and this strep tag is have preserved all the benefit compared to other uh, strep purification Okay, right now let's get back to the original of the strep tag uh, the strep tag is basically on the exam of the strep tag reading, which is the basic of the strep tag and then it is uh, um, Protein that produced by the bacterium of streptomyces every every DNA, and then it com composed of four identical polypeptide chains, and then it's, it's stable for mostly a uh, wide wide range of the pH and then extreme heat, uh, and then they have a isoelectric point which is near to the uh, which near to the neutrality which is uh, very suitable for strep streptomyces as a as a protein separate uh, protein separation. Uh, in this strepsilidin, we modified them into an uh, engineer version, which is the strep tectin, uh, so so that it can be used to purify any protein. Uh, and due to its high stability, so when we when we engineer the strep tectin into the strep tectin, it will not be denatured. Compatible for the strep tag interaction, 
which is as you can see there is a uh, reducing agent that using a DDT which is a uh, they're using a uh, DDT which is dithiotretol which is to reduce the oxidation damage and also for the salt they use uh, sodium chloride in order to increase the ionic strength uh, during the protein purification step. Okay, I will continue to explain a little bit about adaptation to illusion which as you can see, uh, this is Hava. Uh, 2,4-hydro-C benzene azo benzo acid which uh, this uh, this uh, material is being used uh, as uh, as a method to wash the to regenerate the column the column the strap tattoo column okay uh, so for metric metric regeneration uh, earlier before my groupmate has uh, explained about this 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 theo biotin that is being used for illusion. So, uh, how to regenerate the condom? We use Hava. Uh, it can be regenerated with Hava, which uh, it is applied in excess. Okay, how the mechanism actually work? Actually, Hava and this this theobiotin has the same affinity towards the matrix, but uh, due to Hava is applied in excess, so it will replace uh, this theobiotin that being uh, attached to the condom, and somehow it will. Uh, clean up the column and regenerate the column. Okay, the, uh, this is the principle. So the resulting free strategy binding site may be occupied by Hava or this ability may commission but uh, it, just because it is applied in excess so it reduces the chances for this, this biotin to bind with the free pocket. So Hava wins and the column is regenerated. This presentation with general protocol of strip tag purification. So the first step will be the cell lysate is added to the column. So the tag protein will bound specifically to the uh, to the strap resin in the column uh, in the column, while the unbound protein will be washed away rapidly using a small amount physio physiologically wash buffer. And next. Wash buffer, wash buffer or illusion buffer is, is supplemented with 2.5 distio biotin and it's added to the column. So this illusion buffer will compete with the strap tag fusion, uh, fusion protein that is uh, bind to the strap tag uh, resin. So it will compete with biotin binding pocket. So the distiobiotin that inside the illusion buffer will take place for the biotin pocket. So the bound strap tag protein will be eluted from the column. And the next step, to make sure the regeneration for the column, uh, yellow azulite or haba will be added. And this is to displace the distiobiotin that bind to the, to the column. So the red color indicate the regeneration and status activity of the column. And the next step would be, Haba can be removed easily just by using wash buffer. So the red color has disappeared, indicate that Haba is eluted from the column. And the column can be reused in, um, in three to five times without regeneration. And this uh, enzyme uh, uh, used for detection as they give 
color to the protein and easy for the detection. In Western blood, they can uh, they can el eliminate the false positive result in the Western blood assay. For this, the other application of a uh, cell cell protein uh, method, which is uh, that we discussed before, uh, the protein is used mainly for protein purification. Secondly, for assessing <coughs> protein half life, especially when they use uh, this method to uh, search for candidate for drug development, and uh, thirdly, for cellular localization of target protein, and lastly, for easy detection of protein, as I mentioned before. So, uh, we're going to start our question. The first question would be, can you, uh, can anybody list the type of strep tag? Strep tag 2 and then twin strep tag. <laughs> Now we are going to end our presentation for today. Thank you for your attention.